know what your purchase price should be because all of these are going to be factored in. And remember, you don't have to do this on top of the purchase price. You can give them a figure and say, this is what I'm willing to pay. But out of this amount, I'm willing to take money and pay, uh, pay for your levies. I'm willing to take money and pay for your municipal charges. I'm willing to pay the bank a little bit. So total price, 1.2. And out of the 1.2, you start paying the state. And you can take we just wanted to broaden our horizons, expand. We have a baby coming up. And we just wanted to make sure that we secure our future and the future of our babies in terms of investment in property and actually not just that but we're also kind of looking for a home you know when you're expanding your family you also want something that is family friendly uh, i work for a corporate so sometimes i come back home late and with coming back home late i need to make be sure that my family is taken care of and they are safe at home so that is the first big buy and then secondly uh, does it make sense financially? Is it a good price point? And then thirdly, the neighborhood. Does it look like a neighborhood that is growing? Uh, whether in five years it will be still a great neighborhood or not? And yeah. I just have to add on that. In terms of future reselling of the property, yeah. will it um, increase in the price? You know, like it will be able to sell it. I've recently just ventured into property myself, you know, into renovation, rental, sale and buying. I've also been looking into buying properties that are in auctions. So I just want to get to know more information with regard to auctions because of, I know that sometimes you have to register to be part of that. I will definitely advise not only those that are in property, but those who want to venture into property and those who also have or have uh, their own properties you know like um, you might only own a house but at the end of the day you still need more information with regard to if you find yourself whereby you, you maybe you don't pay your, your, your house properly or whatever that is so you get to know more about property in general and for instance if you want to sell it in future what is it that you can also do I'm looking at investing, you know, start up property, you know, leave a legacy for my children. That's what I, is important to me. But into property because I don't want to do something that I have to get involved every single day. I just want to go in there. If there's a bus pipe, that's what I want to do, you know, yes. So it's a long-term legacy for my kids as well, yes. The sense of the event, there's a lot of information available. You need to know exactly what you're coming to look at and what you're coming to learn about. Um, we are second time buyers and we haven't got the information we require just yet. However, as we walked around, we've um, discovered and looked at options that we were not considering, which is intriguing us. So we, may, we might be looking on the investment side now, instead of buying a second home and moving in. Um, I think currently we, we don't even know whether we want to rent our property or sell our property. So we were hoping to get some tips and also learn on what are the tax uh, what are the tax that's going to be involved with the renting. Is it better long term just to rent out what we have? Do we buy and how do we get the maximum out of what we have? And what do we look for when we're looking at a new home? Tips on what to look out for. Cheers, thanks. Thank you.